Hey everybody, Silver Scorpion here. So I figured I'd give you a, a little bit of an intro to uh, scrapping. You know, hang loose. I'll be back with you here in a minute and uh, just give you a little bit of insight on some of this stuff. I know she like it cause So let's just do kind of a, a down and dirty here. Um, this is your processor chips. Different boards have different things on them. It depends on what you get it from. Uh, if you get it out of a vacuum cleaner or a TV, uh, your flat screens have better boards than the old um, tube TVs and stuff. Um, You've got computers, all kinds of stuff. So, this is your processors. Um, the ones with the little gold mark there, you get more gold out of them. If you uh, refine them, you get your smaller ones and your IC chips. Um, this is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, those are small processors. Um, this is actually the only board I've ever seen these on. You've got your IC chips, they can be two sided like these and these or they can be four sided like these with the little legs that come down. Um, you can get gold and stuff out of those, even your small ones. Um, this is your MLCCs right here, they've got a mark on a line on one side. Um, I'm pulling this from memory here because I'm I'm actually kind of new to this. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's either palladium or platinum in there. I think it's palladium. Um, so I mean, there's all kinds of stuff if you want to take the time to strip stuff all the way down that you can get. And I mean, you're not going to recover nothing massive all, out of one. It takes you know a few hundred or whatever. But um, you know, there's there is stuff there so I don't mind taking the time to tear stuff all the way down some people use a, a heat gun and pull them off some people just stick pliers on them and pull them off um, other people use a um, air chisel and just spurt across there take off what they want <coughs> everybody has a different way of doing it I'm not sure if y'all can see these pins right here they're gold plated um, a lot of your phone jacks, all of those wires in there are gold plated and the little phone jack looking things they are over here too. So you pop those off and pull that stuff out. You've got all your slot cards. Most of those pins are going to be gold plated. The, the pins that go in them are going to be gold plated like your RAM. Um, your your other like your video cards on your computer stuff like that this was the big processor it used to sit right here on this one uh, if you pop this open like that the processor will just lift off you flip it upside down all those little pins are gold um, and I'll show you all some of these things here in just a minute as you can you should be able to see these pins are gold here that's gold in there um, these right here if you can see them there's one here and one here um, those are crystal oscillators so there's actually a, a like a crystal inside of them and there's some silver in there with them uh, some of them are easier to take apart than others ones like this I'll take off but I won't try to open those I'll show you all the ones that that I'm willing to fool with and try to open these I'll sell to somebody who processes that stuff and has got the machines to do it because they can do it a lot faster but as you can see you got you got other processor chips um, IC chips most time I call these like flat packs um, you've got some copper on here you can pull your copper off with all that said though you also have to remember you know you have to keep in mind how much do you want to pull off um, this would probably be 
Uh, maybe not. This is probably just mid-grade board. But if I strip all this stuff off and take all those good chips off and strip these and these pins and take these couple chips, there's not going to be much left on there. So it's going to go to a low-grade board. Now you've got high-grade, mid-grade, and low-grade. And that determines what they're going to pay you. Um if you take them to, to turn them into like a scrapyard or a place like that. So you have to do you have to weigh your, your different options and what's best for you. How much time do you want to spend taking stuff off the boards to try to get your precious metals out of them? And at what point do you want to stop because it's too much and you'd rather get you know that mid-grade board price now I mean they're, they're not giving you much for these boards you're looking at I'm gonna throw some numbers out there because it's changed a bunch but maybe a penny a pound for the low grade two or three cent a pound for the mid-grade a little bit higher for the high grade you know um, some of these boards have got a pretty decent amount of weight to them so that can that can add up pretty quick but at the same time I don't want to miss the precious metals that I can get out of it for for a couple pennies worth of weight so you know sometimes you want to leave your your heavier weight stuff on there if it doesn't have that much value to you and this is kind of what I mean so these are transformers and there's small transformers on on boards um, You've got a couple coils of copper here. Here's one of them that's busted open. You can see what's inside of it. So there's a coil of copper. So are you going to try to go after the copper price? Or are you going to leave these on here for weight to give you more weight on the board? Same thing with your transformers. Now, depending on which one it is, some of them are worth taking off. Uh, some of them you want to strip the copper off of. Some of them you want to leave the copper on some of them you leave the transformer on it just depends you you have to kind of figure out what your spot is and where you feel comfortable uh, with that stuff uh, you can pop the transformers off and throw them in with motors um, if it's one of the transformers that has a whole lot of copper on there you may want to pull the copper off and just throw the rest in scrap metal so <clears throat> there's a lot of different things to look at and weigh if you get into actually doing these boards um, see there's some some IC chips on here but they're tiny you know is that really worth your time to try to pick those off of there uh, stuff like that so just some food for thought I mean there's a lot of stuff on these boards that's got a little value and there's a lot that doesn't one of the other things you watch for, this is a high grade board. Um, real tough, almost feels like it's aluminum or metal or whatever. If you look on the outside, the whole board's coated in gold. So, something like this, I'm going to strip everything off of it on both sides. I'm going to take it all off. The stuff that's worth my time, I'm going to do something with. Um, you're looking at gold pins, gold pins, gold pins, because these are the ribbons that go in here and they clamp down on them. Same thing here. Um, not all of them are gold. Some of them are silver. Am I going to mess with silver pins? No, probably not, because most of the time I don't know if they're silver or if they're, you know, some other type of metal. But the gold you can see easily. So, I mean, with that said, once I strip everything off, there's a compound I can soak this board in, and it'll take all this green off of it and leave that, that you know, gold coating on there. And then I can wash it real good, and I can soak it in the other compound, and it'll peel the gold off the board for me to refine and use for pouring stuff or just save or, or whatever like that. So... This is something I, I kind of enjoy doing. Uh, I do a whole lot of big stuff, microwaves, stoves. Everything has a circuit board in it. Everything nowadays at least has one. 
your big screen TVs, especially the bigger ones, you're looking four or five boards sometimes. Um, all kinds of components you can pull off. All kinds of little goodies in there. So this is part of the scrapping. A lot of people don't pull anything off the of boards. They just turn the boards in like they are. If their scrap yard will even take them. I have not turned in any yet. I haven't even looked to see if they'll take them right now. I'm just interested in the components that I know has gold and silver and you know the silver pins and stuff like that or the gold pins. And I'm compiling that stuff in ice cream buckets actually um, to hold them and to stock up because it takes a whole lot for it to mount to just a little bit by, by the end of it. But I just figured I'd give y'all a little quick insight into this. Um, just some of the stuff people don't know about or don't realize. They don't know what component is what. And you can always look at them. Most of them, not all, but most of them have a little code next to them. So if you're looking for MLCCs, a lot of them are marked the same. But some of them have an R next to them. Some of them have a C. The C is the only one that's going to have that precious metal in it. The, the R's are acting as a resistor instead of a capacitor. I think there's an L for a load. Um, you know, there's a few different things in some of this stuff that you have to learn. And I'm still learning myself. But uh, I figure I'd bring y'all in on some of the stuff I've been playing with here recently and learning. And I'll try to show y'all a few of these um, different items off the board so you can see what they look like. So if y'all hang on, I'll be right back and I will uh, show y'all that. Alright, so. Just to give you an idea how to take some of this stuff off. As I said, like your MLCCs, you got to look at it and see what the code is. That's a C. Starts with a C, so this one's being used as a cap capacitor. So you just grab it and twist it right off of there. Not a big deal for some of it. Uh, two sided IC chip. You grab and twist back and forth, it'll pop right off of there. Not hard, you know. Um, these you have to get underneath your big chips and try to pry them up without breaking them. If you break them, it's not a big big deal because that's what you're going to end up doing a little bit later anyway in the uh, processing but uh mlccs i don't know if you can see these itty bitty little grayish things in in the bucket there all those are mlccs and as i said i was just learning trying to get a feel for you know what's what and these the yellow ones are mlccs Hopefully my camera will focus good enough on this. But you can see there's a stripe across the top of it on one side. And that tells you it's the positive side. It's got a little plus in that break in the middle of the stripe. So that lets you know that's the right type of component. And then you have to look at the board where it's coded as far as what it is. And people who do computer repairs and, and circuit board repairs, they read the schematics and they go to the stuff. and you know sometimes you can just open it up and you can see this components brown so it burn up so that's what they need to replace so they can just solder a new one on there and it goes back to working um crystal oscillators so you're looking at a few different types of these you've got your square ones which look like this crystal oscillators most of the time have four in the back sometimes three but that's going to be the wires coming out yeah it's got four points four corners um, you also got your your two ones so this is your big ones these normally stand up on the board so they, they stand up like this and you just grab it it twists right off of there because it's only being held on by two wires these are the little ones I was showing you a minute ago on the board little tiny things um, and then you've got your glass top ones 
that look kind of like this. And I know it's tiny and hard to see, but I'm just trying to give you all an idea. So, this is what some of us scrappers do. Some people do it while they're sitting around watching TV. But you can actually take this and grab a hold of it and then take your cutting tool and cut the end off of it right there. Right there where that little, you know, spot is right on the very end. And then you can dump that piece. It will fall right out of that that capsule and that's what you need to keep again how much time do you want to invest um, I see chips I pulled one off a minute ago but as you can see there's all kinds of shapes and sizes this is some of your newer stuff it's really really thin um, this is some of your, your older stuff. It's a lot thicker. It's about double to triple the, the thickness. Um, so these are two-sided. So you've got prongs running down two sides of it on opposite sides. And these tend to add up pretty quick. There's quite a bit on there. marked as flat packs because that's just what I know them as but there's all your big you know processors and stuff um, I put my four sided in here too there will be some some changing of this stuff as I go down the road but see it's got four four sides that are connected to the board all of them have little itty bitty gold bonding wires that run from each one of those little tabs in there to the center where it's got another gold piece <clears throat> you've got your newer model ones they look kind of like that on the bottom it's not much to them really but they connect like straight into the board so they're they're nice and flat and then you've got your what most people know this is an Intel i3 86 chip so if y'all can see on this side, look at all the gold. Everything's gold plated. I don't know if y'all can see all those pins or not. But you've got all these pins and then you also have the gold that's inside the chip. So, again, here's another one. Look at all the gold on the bottom. All those are little tiny gold pins. If y'all can see them good. And then you got what's inside the chip. So that's your, your bigger chips. Let's see what I got in here. Alright, so that was the MLCCs. This is the capacitors. Which I still haven't figured out the capacitors and MLCCs very well yet. I'm still kind of learning exactly what's got what. But the capacitors have the palladium in them. I dropped one. But I mean, this is kind of what they look like. This is your old style right here. So the ones that are round, they are capacitors, but they don't have the palladium in them. You got to get the ones that are kind of oblong. That's the old style, though. Most of everything that you find nowadays is like like these. And then when I was telling you about the gold fingers and, you know, stuff like that, you just cut the gold fingers right off the card. And here's a bunch of gold pins and, you know, we've only been through a few circuit boards, but this one's kind of thick. But there's one of your gold fingers, you can see it's got gold on both sides and it's plated. Uh, some of your stuff and like some of your laser eyes or whatever for DVDs and stuff There's a bunch of stuff uh, gold in those as you can see it's A bunch of gold pins uh, Gold wires stuff like that 
that uh, come off the boards, come out of some of the uh, pieces like I was showing you like this, these pieces here, your phone jacks, it looks like phone jacks, that kind of thing. So, I mean, that's all just kind of a quick rundown. You spend all that time stripping all this stuff off, and you still have to process it even further to get anything out of it. And you, you don't get any real high yield. But, I mean, y'all know gold's expensive, so it, it stacks up kind of quick. Um, your silver, eh, probably not going to get a whole lot of money in silver. Uh, but gold, you know, you'll eventually get to an ounce. It, it might take you a while, but... I've got circuit boards like this and these and just about any type you can think of they are stacked up I mean we're talking to your waist and like half a room full of them um, just from tearing down other things stoves um, dryers washers computers TVs anything anybody didn't want you know I just I just ripped it off of there and I've got one of these other boards I can show you this is a real low quality real low quality board right here you see the color of it so that's that's your lowest quality but as you can see here's a card that's got gold all the way around the outside that whole cards coated all these drive in here for your um, SD cards and stuff they're gold pins you can see them in the back this right here is going to be one of your cards for your computer gold pins so I mean this stuff it adds up it just takes a while even these old boards here you've got um, transformers um, smaller transformers another one over here another one right here and you just kind of pick and choose some of it you may want to you know look at it and say hey that's, that's some big wires on there I'm gonna take that for copper and some of them little tiny wires and there's more tape than wires then you may just toss that in with with your uh, motors throw it in with your motors so a lot of these boards have huge heat sinks on them. Most of the time they're solid aluminum. They're great to melt and do stuff with. It's another one of your old boards. Transformers. A little coil of copper on this piece. Some IC chips. Some of these are actually switches, so you can take them apart and get the silver contacts off of them. It's just how much time do you want to spend to strip stuff down. And right now I'm kind of, I'm kind of in the strip everything down all the way as far as I can mode, so till I learn exactly what I do and what I don't want. Uh, this is probably a power supply for uh, like a laptop or something. You got a nice, you know, that's a decent amount of copper. And here's another one over here. Um, you know, all a learning process. So I just figured I'd show that to you. Here's some of your other things that come off boards, copper. And uh, let y'all get a quick little rundown of, you know, what components you want to hold on to, which ones you don't, and uh, your three different tiers of boards, and um, what's what's in what. Um, but uh, that's that's about, about as far as I've gotten. I've actually done some before the last day or two when I did this. But it was more just stacking components. Um, 
and I've got them. I don't even know where they are because I've rearranged my room about 10 times since then. So I've got cups with components in them and uh, coffee cans with components in them and everything else. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed learning that. Um, I know I enjoy learning. I've learned this from watching other people in, the, in our community and outside of our community. Um, just like I'm learning metal detecting and um, a few other things, the Funko Pops, those are pretty cool. Um, but this is how I learn. You know, I, I need to be able to see it. It's a lot better if I can put my hands on it. So I'll go get it if I can, put my hands on it and figure it out. And uh, it's free money. I don't, I don't really watch TV. I'll sit around and talk with my kids and they know which components to pop off of there and then I'll look at it after them and take a couple more off if they miss something and I'll toss the, the board aside and later I'll separate my boards out. It takes up a lot of space but you know I'm teaching my kids skills that they can use later if they ever need to make a couple dollars more than what they're making at work or you know whatever and uh, I enjoy teaching my kids so hope y'all enjoyed um, we'll catch y'all next time